effective rim diameter. This is an excerpt from Master Wheel Building 2. If you already have the basics down on how to build a wheel, but you want to take your skills to a new level, this video here has voluminous amounts of additional information that you will find extremely helpful. One step in measuring spoke length is determining what's called the effective rim diameter. Let me show you how to do that for a couple different situations. We'll look at a wheel with regular nipples and then a wheel with internal nipples. Let's start with a wheel that has regular nipples. ERD is not the internal rim diameter or the external rim diameter or the bead seat diameter. Here's an expanded cross section of the rim on each side and there is the slot on each nipple. The effective rim diameter is the distance from the slot on one nipple all the way through the rim all the way across to the other side to the slot at the end of the other nipple. These are the actual steps in determining the ERD. We're measuring here from a hole on one side of the rim all the way across to a hole on the opposite side. This is a 36 hole rim so besides those two holes where the ruler is I have 17 holes on one side and 17 holes on another. It's not a bad idea to actually count the holes on either side of the ruler just to make sure that you're actually measuring the diameter. If we look at a close-up section of where these rulers overlap that's 480 millimeters that's 490 and right there where the two rulers overlap is 500 millimeters and that 500 millimeters is the internal diameter of my rim it's not the ERD but it's the first step in determining the ERD now if you have a rim that has eyelets for example as shown there Make sure you position your ruler next to the eyelet, not on top of it. Step two in determining ERD is to determine the nipple length, and for that I need a caliper. A caliper allows me to measure three dimensions. One is the outside dimension of an object, also the inside dimension, and the depth. Here I'm measuring a nipple length. It's important to note that the caliper is inside the nipple slot. So I'm measuring a distance of 10.74 millimeters, which is the inside of the slot to the end of the nipple. Here I can use the depth gauge of my caliper to read the nipple drop, which in this case is 6.8 millimeters. My ERD is the internal rim diameter plus two times the nipple length minus the nipple drop, which is two times the difference. Let's look at a specific example for a velocity dyad rim, a 700C rim, and we have a 590 millimeter internal diameter. So my ERD is equal to 590 plus two times 10.7 minus 7.0 and that equals 597.4 millimeters which is the ERD of that rim. But there are many wheels where the nipples are internal and are hidden and we have to know how to calculate ERD in that case as well. Um, in this case however the nipples are going to be entirely on the outside of the spoke bed. None of these nipple will come through the spoke bed. Here's our cross section of the rim and here we see a spoke coming through the small hole through the rim. We see the threaded portion of the spoke sticking into the inside of the rim and here we see our internal nipple screwed on all the way. Notice that the threads on the spoke go all the way to the end of the threads, threaded part of the nipple and that the nipple is flush with the inside of the rim. Make yourself this little spoke bed thickness measuring tool. You just take a spoke and screw a hex nipple onto the end of it and by screwing that nipple in or out 
I can vary the amount of spoke that sticks out the end of the nipple. And I've done that here with this little piece of uh, Reynolds rim. You can see the end of the spoke right there and it's flush with the inside surface of the rim. So I just use my caliper and I measure the spoke bed thickness of, in this case, 3.4 millimeters. So there's my ERD. Check this out on my website. You can also email me at bill at billmoldwheels.com.